Are you ready for the next frame? Hello everybody! My name is Natalia and you are watching Lovecraft Forever. So here is how it looks like my next frame. All these park threads in here that I park from my finishing touches on my first frame. Now I've rolled this side. I just want to show you how it looks like. It's rolled, it's clipped. This side have another two clips to hold my new frame. And I have in here 35 colors of threads that I have to finish. I even have one of the backstitch threads. So let's get started. Good morning everyone. Are you ready to stitch with me more European town? Or I think in original name this canvas called Green, uh, Green Village, I think. So here's what's going on. I already, do you remember how many threads was parked in here? So I almost finished all of them. I left in here two colors. And I have two colors in here. And my needle park a little bit in here to, the, to my next color that I will do uh, later. And I actually have one thread in here from Backstitch that I work on that house up there. So this backstitch thread I will be um, kind of like I'm going to unroll here like that see my puppy he has a one French knot for the eye <laughs> look it's here so this thread I will put on this side and when I'm done full stitch I will be continue work with the backstitch so I don't have to cut this so then I roll like this. You can cover this piece with fabric or something, towel, if you don't want this to be like maybe get dirty or something, but I don't think there's nothing going to be happen to this side. So like this, this side I already roll as well with those big clips, they are very, very nice. And I already have a two threads that I finished was parked from here. I finish random whatever was color and I already parked this one to the next frame. Two first. So this is it. This frame is much, I'm just gonna grab a scissors, much easier because in here we have, look, um, you know, have in here was all this road with this light colors. It was lots of confetti kinda. In here, all this water, Kind of, it's a water under the bridge. You see that? It's kind of like a bridge. So we will have very easy stitching in here. And I think together with you right now, I might will be continue to work maybe on this water because it's a nice straight line, same color, or maybe something like this turquoise or orange. Mm, I'm thinking maybe water. We will continue with water. Well, no, it's not a water, sorry. It's not water. It's going to be this kind of color. So this is like a um, part of the bridge, I think. Oh, the water is in here. Unless maybe we should do water. I don't know what kind of color this will be. I can't remember. So I will pick some patch of same kind of easy go stitches. And we will start with you. So if we we'll look on my folder in here, just a minute. My folder with thread. I know it's true. It's true. The thing. Okay, maybe through here we see. You see this bridge. So, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna show you like this because everybody see this. So we stop this house i was doing some somewhere in here so this is my new start frame from here and to the peak of this roof you see this is the peak of the chimney so i guess this is my frame next go to here lots of pretty flowers colors will be in here and we have some carriage up there with person kind of hard to recognize that person on this canvas I was trying to see so the carriage will be looks like this is outline of the carriage I cannot recognize horse in here at all <laughs> we will find out where that horse is 
All right, let me set up tripod and we will start stitching. You can see I already start to have some fluffy tails in here the way I uh, finish and start my threads. So this tail actually it's the same color that we are going to work with because I went to this part and I just park in here. I could just go through the same hole to start and kind of go this way but I will start from this side and I think I will have to I will have to work with light or no? Mm, let's try without light. Yesterday I was uh, on my other channel, Natalia XO, and when I went to like a home page of YouTube, the YouTube recommended me my video from this channel. And that is a video about my cross stitch tutorial for the beginners on the printed canvases. And I was actually surprised that that video still very popular. I even posted, reposted into my Facebook group because that video is really good for beginners and have already over a hundred thousand views and it's still you know, people watching every single day so if you are a beginner my friend i will also i can uh, link it up for you the video or like on the end screen or maybe as a card so you can watch and you will be a pro on the end of the video you will not have to stitch all those tricks, tips and tricks, all those start and finishes the way I do my canvases. Uh, back then I don't think I parked this way as I do park now. It all depends kind of on the needle sharpness I would do or because I don't want to flip my frame all the time to park this way my thread. So there's many different things but the video is wow it's like a um, hundred thousand like almost two, two hundred thousand I think no I can't remember now I know but it was a lot of views for that video it's the most popular video and I will be I should maybe like update the video a little bit because now I have like a many more thing to say maybe now I can explain a little bit better I don't know but that is was a good video I put up there lots of tips about how to start and everything to explain because I still have receiving those questions about printed canvas so it's good to maybe update a little bit we'll see guess what in a couple of hours somebody will visit me and that is sherry my bff everybody knows sherry who know me everybody knows sherry she is my admin in a facebook group she is catherine's godmother she is my bff so she has things to do and she needs to kill some time so she will come visit me my puppies will attack her and the cat because when she step in the house they demand and give us some treats <laughs> so usually she goes she know she know where all the treats are in my house and they just follow in her excited excited to see her as well so I will have somebody to talk to here because Catherine's school and I am here alone. Last night, what I did last night, I was diamond paint and center design. Diamond paint and center has arrived from Dreamers Design. I put good amount of diamonds up there. Not as fast as I would do around diamond painting, but still I created a whole bunch of um, lines up there 
I start from the bottom of the canvas, so that's how I do. And I will be working as much as possible on that canvas because I need to be done before Christmas. So I still have tons of time, feels like a tons of time. And that canvas feels like it's very easy to do because canvas are so good clarity. Uh, at this point I'm not sure if it's already arrived into the store or not. Um, I didn't see it on Instagram so maybe it's not in store yet, that Christmas design. Okay, I will chop this little tail in here. So yeah, I decided to go with the blue line as I showed you first because it's all no confetti, just like a one line, so it's easy for me to stay in the same. I just need to readjust a little bit my f tighten canvas on the oh, stretch a little bit. You have no idea how happy I am to start on a new frame in here. Oh, and I already created like good chunk in here. Because, you know, after uh, I move all the sparked threads that I have, it's like, I think it was like a 35 colors or something, all the threads was hanging on the other side. So after I finish all them, I already have a good chunk done in here. This frame I definitely will do much faster than the other because less confetti in here and feels like uh, design a little bit smaller um, not as tall some some design like not go far away to the top so feels like it's a little bit smaller and more simple probably the most simple a frame of all. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this cough ever will go away. And it's literally sometimes I choke just on the air. <laughs> anyway, we will keep it positive, keep it positive this is our first time to stitch in this new frame. My friends, I wanted to create a playlist for this canvas, but because I'm already kind of like so far away and for me to link all these designs in order to like to go, for example, European town number one, number two, number three, it will take me forever, it will take my so much time from my daylight to actually link it up and count them because I would have to go to each video and actually renumber them because I don't have any of them in which order go. So that was just like would be too much work instead of that I can create a couple new videos. So I decided not to do it. I hope you're not going to be mad at me. If I would start in the beginning, it would be good. But now I just way too far away. <coughs> I should stop now doing uh, this design and kick a notch on the winter designs. But if I do that, you will probably scream at me up there through the camera. Don't stop. Some of you pulling out of the stash from deep, deep box and starting to create in this because some of you started years ago, put away and do nothing with it. And now by watching me stitching, I made you feel like you should do it again. And that is awesome. Please pull out and let's do it together. Okay, so this tail in here that I have, it's coming out, last one I think from, maybe this one, let me just kind of push it, yeah. This is the stitch that I park a crisscross to here. 
so now my next row I will be over stitching this so I can cut this thread in here so I'm just going to hold the tension so it doesn't interfere with my line that I'm doing right now and now this row will over stitch this thread that I finished so we can cut right away and we will have a less messy canvas After I finish my castle, flower castle, diamond painting, I was like, hmm, what should I do next? I know I want to start now on my new castle, the humongous one. That we have 80 by 130 centimeter size. So I will be restocking those diamonds from the Ziploc bag into my new container that we opened with you yesterday from Ardat. That container is awesome. Yeah, it feels like it's expensive, but if you count those boxes that have just a one tray of um, bottles, just a one layer, so if you can add by four, because we have a four trays, uh, if you count by the bottles, it doesn't feel like it's too expensive because it's like you have a four separate containers but just in one I think it's maybe even cheaper will be that way not sure to calculate I can't remember how much I think it was like a $24 or something was for one container separate the one I show you smaller sample so if you count I think to buy a bigger one a little bit cheaper will be together to calculate not sure you try to figure out but definitely my question is that's that's why i brought the container in here so so i can ask you if you want to watch video me uh, putting diamonds into those containers because last time when i organized my diamonds i skipped part of kitten up and that was my center so I didn't think you not everybody like kitten up video that's why kind of I skip and after I skip some of you oh we were hoping you you will have <laughs> kitten up video as well so because this design already in a ziplock bags so it's uh, basically just to from one to another so if you want to still have the video watch I can do that we can put diamonds together and two containers because the canvas are huge lots of colors and good thing one tray have a 80 i believe jars so that canvas definitely will fit all my diamonds for that particular just one tray and then i can put something else from other trays maybe different maybe I will keep that uh, this um, container organizer just for my like the biggest one design huge one that way I will easy to recognize where is my diamonds huge canvas huge container that would be easier maybe I will do that maybe I will reshuffle a little bit my stuff around Okay, so if you want to watch that, I can create a video. And if you don't want to watch, you can just skip the video and go to the next one. Good thing we review a lot every single day. Oh, by the way, yesterday my husband brought me two new packages. 
so I will have more unboxing for you. I'm just trying to create this video now while it's still not very... Oh, and I'm not even looking on the camera. Hopefully I'm still in focus here. Uh, I want to finish this video before Sherry or I because definitely we're not going to do anything else. We're just going to chit chat and later uh, everybody will come in the house and then I will have to prepare for dinner. So I'm, I'm going to be having a short time on create video. So that's why I'm kind of finish this now some package will arrive tomorrow I received the email from Canada Post but I don't know from who so I'm excited hopefully it's one of that site that I'm going to be brand new on my channel so cross teachers of European town do you want me to continue this design to look Christmas and just keep going every Wednesday as it is or you want me to switch for something wintery Christmassy maybe please let me know and majority will win who wants to switch to something different wintery or I should keep doing this as it is every Wednesday kind of it's a good routine I'm so used to now that every Wednesday stitch there is like it's automatically this canvas don't, don't even go far away to my craft room it just stays here on an extra table that I have and just waiting till next time because when I have this canvas in here not far from me then I can pick it up any minute when I tire from diamond painting I just switch to cross stitch it really helps you know if you switch in from one craft to another even if you switch in from one stitch canvas to another cross stitch canvas it still will make a difference because maybe you are tired of the slight colors that I'm stitching right now you want something more cheery maybe you want like a bright red or yellow colors or blues then it's okay to stitch different canvas couple of them with one night even if you put hundred stitches to each design it's already you made the progress so it's always good it's always good I'm planning to cut my own hair yes it's too long it's too frizzy and I want to do experiment by cutting a hair that, that I never did before. All this time I cut my hair straight. And this time I want to challenge myself on something completely different. So I'm just thinking if I should record video or not about that. Comment if you want to see more video on my beauty channel. That would be hair. How I cut my own hair for the first time this new style would you like to see that you know every time you like my video or you comment it really helps me because the video the more likes or comments it will be more recognizable by your YouTube channel your YouTube channel will suggest my video to other viewers and it's actually really helped me because the more views then better and you know because right now it's super important to me because I'm helping my family in Ukraine so all views matter because it is it's create me a little bit of income that I send in money to my family 
so all my income from YouTube goes to Ukraine so all you can do is just you know extra put like or extra comment and that really will help my YouTube channel keep it visible for other viewers I do appreciate your help this way <coughs> just a minute I will have to drink I think I have to drink my period water getting dry <clears throat> okay I see that my battery now flashing I didn't change battery since last night so I'm surprised we're still holding the charger <coughs> If camera stop will still will be creating a little bit longer video because I feel like stitched a little bit more with you just move frame a little bit or camera or maybe I just let me just for replace my battery okay battery exchanged we can do for another half an hour if you're not on a rush anywhere lots of snow outside <clears throat> but it's not going to snow now it's actually calling for rain for a couple of days not sure when the rain will start but that's good I like that rain will kind of give rid of some snow so it's not accumulating more and more it's a big piles everywhere and my goodness the states got so much my friends in USA especially like Niagara Buffalo Wow, you up there got a hammer with the snow. That is a magical wonderland, but it's way too much for my liking. It's like tunnels people digging and trying to uncover themselves from the snow. No, we got a lot, but not this much. No, not this much. So now it's going to be melt a little bit. <clears throat> Went a little bit chilly. But look sunny. I wonder if Sherry will bring some diamond painting to work together a little bit. I don't know. I like when she visits me. That we chit chat or doing something. Too bad Catherine not home. She's at school. She loves when Sherry come over. Those two troublemakers. Okay, what kind of story I should tell you? Uh, what happened lately? Anything? No. Last night we just decided my hubby and I went for dinner. He decided to have something like Chinese stuff. 
So we went to restaurant called Magnolia. Very delicious food. I think it's uh, Chinese or it's not. Or it's a Japanese. No, I don't know. Magnolia. So, well, let me just say Asian, right? That would be more correct because I'm not sure whose restaurant that is. Very nice people work up there and we are going there pretty much often. So everybody happy us to see up there and very kind and polite and the best food ever. Very fresh and healthy, I would say. So after that we went to Walmart. It's like it's so awesome to see now all this Christmas stuff already pull up there. The decoration, the gifts. So I'm just like looking around what kind of gift to pick something for good stockings. Some little pieces. And I went to the craft area to see if anything new and to be honest in a cross stitch area I don't see nothing new for a long time all same thing it's just like no choice if I would be like a new cross stitcher it's just a few designs up there like dimensions those little tiny canvases up there and that's it uh, a few of the canvases that like a roll clean canvas like empty canvas uh, for the counted cross stitch and it's just I wish it would be like a more that you go and you see tons of different designs no don't have like that store in here or like why in Michael's uh, store nobody bring more like a cross stitch kits not just uh, accessories they don't have a st stuff like that in here only online by the way if you maybe um, somebody new who wants to uh, stitch together with us we have lots of girls stitching this design already um, if you don't want to order from it was from biggest craft this original design that I got it from but also I can link it up for you to Aliexpress if you like to buy an Aliexpress uh, I think I put the links maybe from last week I added a link from Aliexpress as well uh, so you have uh, options where you want to buy I didn't go on Amazon to check it out if because from Amazon probably would be faster shipping but I did not go look didn't have a time kinda because I was finishing on a hurry that flower castle because I had the problem so yeah about the flower castle let me give you update uh, uh, Ryan the owner uh, email me and he said he arranged me to ship extra diamonds but I email back and say that I don't need to be shipped diamonds just want to make sure my viewers who watch my video did not receive designs with shortage of the drills so he check with the factory and looks like everything fine up there or they well anyway they look out for this problem okay so it should be all good so they did reply as I mentioned after you know weekends gone they will reply back to me so they did and they actually offer to ship me diamonds of the missing DMC but I rejected the offer because I already finished my design with some other diamonds that really was very close by the shade and nobody will know if I don't tell right only you know my secrets nobody else <laughs> so yeah so thanks for that it's fixed so it should be you should be good to order okay what else news I have not sure <coughs> Might 
thread is finishing so here is how I will finish again just if you did not see my previous video if you are new on my channel and I have a new people all the time so when I go into this hole I will come out across line so if I finish here I will go on the other row so watch I go here and I go across like further even maybe like all the way to the end of this line okay so this go across of this line and now I will over stitch and cut this with my new thread so let me prepare my next my next line we will prepare I always even if it's a tree in here still separate them still separate them because that way it will be more straight your stitches will be nicer because they all kind of curled up and tangle up between each other so now we will put all the tails together ignore my nails I'm lazy to do my nails keep thinking 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 I don't know what to do and I think what I wanted to do is not going to work for me I have to order one product maybe on Amazon okay we are going to wax I'm using now this one threader and I have it's like it's two of my favorite threaders I'm just using this one right now because it's kind of easy to pick it up off the flat surface Okay, ready to start new thread. Let me get you back to me. Okay, so I will continue. Okay, so now watch. I'm go to the same hole that I have my thread already. I will start in here, and I will coming out from where I went in so now it's like I'm opposite side okay because it's the same color so I will be I'm going to hold them both together okay and I will over stitch them together so I can cut them at once And I go on a horizontal line as my threads up there because it will get overstitch on the back of my canvas so I don't have to secure my thread anymore. Some fluff. Sometimes even like a thread fiber. Okay, and now because I'm gonna go to the same hole, I wanna make sure this kind of like a stretch a little bit away to find my hole better in here so I don't split those threads. And I'm just going to create a few of the stitches to go crisscross, make sure it's all catched and hold them tight so it will be not untangled and I think I no 
No, I I created. No, it's no, I didn't. Okay, now it's safe to cut two together. like it's not very tight kind of loosen up a little bit this frame I need maybe put like a some cloth or something between frame and the lid that close on the frame to keep it more tight maybe some people do you know it's a good idea to take some like a piece of fabric scrap or something and wrap around your frame or a hoop and then put your canvas on the top and the frame cover right to click this way it's not going to be like a slippery surface that your canvas keep unrolling kind of it will sit more tight more grip will be because the fabric will be rolled so I was going to do the even tutorial and I kind of forgot about that and now when I'm stitching it keep losing up I might well do to put I have a, like a old bed sheets that I'm using now if I need a um, iron my diamond paint and sometimes when soldering wrinkle up I'm using like a very tiny sheet and I can use the cut few pieces wrap around my frame and I think it will be big help to keep my frame canvas like more drum tight position oh we did good chunk with you already here No Daisy, Daisy, I'm recording with you, it's not Daddy, go lay down, or go on the sofa, come on, come on the sofa, my girlfriend show up, she heard the big truck driving through the street and she thought that's my husband, but it's not, <laughs> now she's gonna snuggle with me on the sofa, so if you hear some noises, cute signs, she liked to sign a lot, oh my god. I tease her because my husband liked to do that. <sighs> like this, right? So she's doing this all the time. I was like, wow, you have a tough life, girl. All that sign. Yeah. See so how nice to stitch when you have like a straight line doesn't have to jump all the way around and cut threads because it's a confetti from side to side this one, like you start thread and you finish thread you don't have to do nothing basically <clears throat> Let me try try to speed up with two hands I think I will go sharp on Amazon. I need a few things that we don't have 
in the store local stores especially nail product that I'm looking for so I will be looking the shop and see what else I can find on Amazon because I like the way ship fast I put few things in my cart from Aliexpress but something I just don't want to wait two months sometimes their shipping are so long some could be two three weeks and some stores just take forever to ship so I don't know I think I will try Amazon see if they have what I need and what I need I can show you what I need. What I'm doing, I have in here. Ah, well, let's take a break from stitching, okay? You see, I have forms for the nails, and this is the okay. This the pair for two hands. What I'm trying to do, I want to use this. First of all, I wanted to do design. A video design tutorial on very pretty design and then I wanted to literally glue them for my nails and you just have to choose which link you want but the product to glue on it it's the, the special thing that I don't have and I don't want to use nail glue I want to use gel but the builder gel that I have I just figured out yesterday that I cannot use that. It's not good. So I need a special soft gel. I think that's what it's called, soft gel extension. So I need to check that if I have on Amazon there or not. And then I can do my long nails because I miss them so much. I feel very chubby. I try to hide my hands. Yeah, but I uh, would love to do a few tutorials. Or maybe I can just do tutorials on the uh, tips itself. Yeah, maybe I will do that. Not to wait for my own nails, but just to do on the uh, tips and make some fun. Maybe Christmas something, Christmas t t tutorial. Oh, it would be nice to get you back to me, right? Look, we already stitched so much. We almost finished this row. And I have left a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to switch my box in here to hold my canvas just a minute. On another side and move my camera a little bit over because from here you can see we have a little bit more that continue in here so from this part to this part I'm probably just gonna stitch over a, hmm, it's like a three centimeters probably I'm not sure but because I have no stitches here yet so I will over stitch them later because look how many colors I have to put between these two so it's not going to be visible later start to cut a little bit more often now it's mean 
I need probably stop recording now and go make a good cup of tea. I got yesterday from Walmart fresh lemons and I like my tea with lemon and half a teaspoon of honey. Sometimes I even add one leaf of dry mint and delicious, delicious tea. Delicious tea. I will show you a little tip in here if you want to use it, which really it's a not big deal to do, especially when you have similar colors. So I know for a fact because I was stitching with all these um, colors, uh, roadway, the bricks and everything. See this symbol and this round symbol and you know this blue symbol. They are very like uh, close to color. So right now I'm making my last stitch in here with the same color. Okay. Okay, so now from here I will have to jump all the way up there. So this is kind of a little bit longer direction. What you can do, you can just stitch one more stitch in the middle here somewhere, one of the symbol. So you know what, I did not do on this canvas this way yet. But I will do now just to show you that this is not big deal. We are going to make, let's say this round one. I will create with the same color because they are similar colors. Maybe a little bit darker, maybe a little bit lighter, but it's in the same family. So now from here I will have a shorter passage to go to to my next symbol that I have to do. See, this is something little that is really not big deal, but it really helps for you really helps for you to to create you know a little bit better position and less hain and thread on the back there I never did this before but I thought let me show you what you can do okay and maybe you will use it sometime who knows Sometimes you have like a one stitch of some some color and you don't have that stitch anywhere else It's like one different symbol You know what you can simply stitch with the thread that you stitch in right now or if you are very By the book doing everything then of course you can stitch with some with the color that's supposed to be But I'm just saying it's you're not gonna see that at all the one stitch knot will create much difference if it's like you know if you would have let's say let me get my needle too let's say in this a square of 100 stitches right if you will have a few of the singles yeah maybe they will create a little bit difference on a design but if it's just a one you can just stitch this the thread that you stitch now and that's it. That's the make a simple and not stressful cross stitch supposed to be relaxing, not stressful. If you don't like back stitch, find designs that doesn't call for back stitch. And I have tons of review of designs that doesn't have a back stitch. But if you want to see how backstitch make a difference on those designs that I call for backstitch, please watch my video from last week. My apology, I forgot to mute my phone. So it was running loud. People still looking for a contract for the snow removal. And we already booked salad. I cannot squeeze anybody else. Feel sorry to tell people no, but 
you have a whole summer to think about winter why people wait until the snow fall and they looking for a contract can't find now nobody everybody already booked when snow stop falling at least i can breathe otherwise oh my god my phone won't stop it's like it's so exhausting <laughs> to answer every five minutes or sometimes I'm talking other two people already calling when it's a blizzard outside and I know that we cannot help them because we already booked and just feel so sorry to tell people no but I still have to answer phone mm. don't like winter I don't like winter I want to have Summer. Okay, so this is like a little line in here. Actually, I do have a same symbol, a little bit right in here. Maybe I should catch the now, or... No, I just will continue, probably, because I have, like, a whole line up there. And this symbol, see, like, keep continue, 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 till my frame, all the way. And then I would park up there, or if it's thread stop, then I would do... Yeah, you know, start new thread. But we did a good progress today with you. Not sure how many stitches we created. Can't really calculate. And I'm not going to go and my phone is it's muted but it's calling again. Uh, ay ay ay. Okay, leave a message. Same people. Maybe tonight I'm not going to work on this canvas. I think tonight I will work a little bit on my Santa diamond painting. Because it's uh, scary when it's a huge canvas like this. Plus design exactly measure. I believe it's even a little bit bigger than its measure. Because Dreamers design create canvases that measure printed design not the empty canvas so that's a huge size to work on especially in square diamonds so I'm going to work a little bit on that design more and then I will show you because I want to create Santa's bag I already kind of started uh, put lots of diamonds last night on his bag as his boot up there trying to finish now all the Triton GMC code to give rid of them thank goodness it's not too many of them because Triton it's still diamonds not the best better but not the best have a bits of plastic and everything so I just want to eliminate that my friends I hope you have fun chit chatting with me my baby girl Daisy snuggles so nice on the sofa she like to look through the glass and look how squirrels playing up there 
Hopefully she didn't hear me I'm saying this because if she heard this word she would run into the window, jump on the sofa and look in it. And today I actually snap picture on my Facebook. I have a scroll she was sitting outside on a window and Daisy and Shadow was looking on her her or him fluffy friends entertainment you know for the winter time I'm just going to finish to the end of this row this this little part and this should be good enough link of the video for you for today hopefully you stitch more keep doing a good job don't give up if you have some design that you put away you forgot about it pull it out dust it out say sorry and start stitching <laughs> who have those designs that you don't want to go back to all right so thank you so much for staying with me i will see you tomorrow tomorrow will be for sure video unboxing because i have to do my unboxing first and I don't know if I put if I have time for some other video to post maybe with unboxing something else not sure but for now thank you so much it was nice to have you here and we created in here big patch look what we've done in here let's see we started somewhere somewhere we started, I think, somewhere in here, maybe. So, very good progress with you all the way in here. All right, my friends. Without you, I always stitch, will finish my threads that I have kind of parked. And usually, I will stitch something to pick my next color from the frame. To go kind of this way move this way from the frame so i will see in here and just go over in here but with you i will pick the best spot where we can stay in one spot most of the time and not to move camera too much often and yes wish me good luck for my next frame i'm really excited to work on it really really love this design all right my friends see you tomorrow